Hello everyone, welcome to Register. Myself Karthik Konnuswami. Today we are going to start learning Git. Git is one of the most powerful tool for the developers. Earlier we had multiple version control system in the market, but still Git is one of the most widely used and accepted by large enterprise companies to the small enterprise companies in the world. So it is very very important to understand how Git works. And this course has been structured to start covering the topics from the basics comments to the advanced comments. So if you are already working in Git or if you are new to Git, so this course is definitely going to be helpful. There is no doubt in it. As always, in Red Tech, we start by learning what is the concept, why do we need to learn it, and how that concept works. And also, we will do the practical implementation without any compromise in it, so that you guys will get in and out of all the concepts by end of this video series. So without any further delay, let's get started. If you guys are very new to our channel, please consider subscribe to it and also share with your friends. Thank you. Now let's get started with the syllabus. So first of all, we are going to learn what is Git and why do we need to learn Git. Second thing we are going to learn about what do you mean by version control system and what are the benefits I am going to get out of it. And third thing we are going to learn about types of different types of version controls we have. Okay, we have different types, let's say local, centralized and distributed. We are going to get in and out of it and what is the difference between all these three and where does the Git comes in this category. Okay. And then we are going to learn by what are different types of tools we can use it for achieving version controls in your project. Let's say you have Git, CVS, SVN, but this course we are going to focus only on Git. But high level we are going to start by learning what are different types of tools available in the market. And now we are going slowly getting into the Git architecture. Now we will start learning by what is Git architecture, how the Git is architecture and how it is actually working internally in the background. right? And now we are going to get our hands dirty by installing Git in your local machine as well as you are going to start by having some basic configurations uh, that you guys can follow with me so that you guys will uh, can able to start you know uh, pushing the code, pulling the code, all the stuff. Okay. Now we are going to start by learning some basic comments which means how to initialize a Git in your local machine, how to add your code to your uh, staging area and how to commit your code to your local repository and how to push the code, how to pull the code, how to clone your remote repository and we are going to learn about what do you mean by remote repository, what do you mean by local repository, what is the difference between these two, and what, what do you mean by branches, how to create a branch, how to switch the branch uh, from A to B, and how to merge the branches. All those concepts we are going to learn by having your account, you are going to create your own account in the GitHub, where this is one of the uh, service, uh, cloud-based service provider, where you can create your own free account in GitHub. I am going to show you guys how to do it, and wherein we are going to do in and out of everything, practical implementation. Later, we are going to start by learning advanced comments. So this is very helpful to make your code to push into your remote repository where you have working in a team where you have multiple uh, developers are pushing their code and where you will have some merging conflicts. How you are going to do the rebase, how you are going to cherry pick if you want to particularly pick up uh, pick one particular commit and how you are going to do stash, squash and forking. Everything we are going to see in and out of it. And finally, we are going to see what do you mean by merge conflicts and how to raise a uh, merge request and how to resolve the merge conflicts. So these are the topics we are going to cover in and out of it. So if you guys are ready to start by learning Git, so these are the very bare, bare minimum that you have to understand before you get into the Git.